and welcome back to my channel. My name's Keely and today it's out with the Halloween and in with the Christmas because it is time for my 2022 porch decorate with me and I am so excited. This is the first video of 2022's Christmas decorating with me. If you're new here, I am a 31 year old mom of two almost three i'm actually due in december which is fitting because i just love christmas so much so it's like the perfect time of year i make videos about home decor diys and especially the holidays i love every holiday i love decorating for holidays i love being extra and i love to do it without a ton of extra effort so that's what i do here i show you guys how to be extra without the effort how to decorate your house on a budget and the realistic side of things of course because i am a mom i am a little bit of a hot mess sometimes i just kind of look like i have it together most of the time and i promise you guys that i will always show you the realistic side of things so if you're not subscribed please subscribe i'd love to have you um today we're going to be decorating my porch i love decorating my porch i start it as soon as i can in fact some years i've even decorated before halloween my neighbors think i'm crazy but that's a different story and there's probably a lot of reasons for that but right now um it's because I'm decorating my porch for Christmas and it's only like the first few days of November so okay everything's fine there is still a giant skeleton standing in my front yard um, and my porch is decorated for Christmas but like I said I'm real so here we are on my front porch and we're gonna get started decorating got a lot to do I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this beautiful garland that I put around my door on a budget by yourself without having to even go to Hobby Lobby <laughs> and spend a lot of money get ready buckle up get your Christmas sweater on I know I have mine on and let's get festive as always I will be pressure washing before I start decorating you just have to do it, okay? Especially this time of year when there's tons of leaves and pine straw everywhere. Thank you, North Carolina. It's still been in the 70s and 80s here some days, but the trees do not care, and they shook off all their leaves uh, at the right time this year, and they're all over my porch. Just to introduce myself if you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 31 years old, and my middle name is Really Rainbow. I make YouTube videos about home decor, holidays, DIYs, and motherhood, and I like to keep it real and show y'all how to be extra without all the effort. I love the holidays, peppermint mocha Starbucks, and watching Amazon drop off every single present I almost forgot to buy. I live in North Carolina, have two daughters who are 5 and 10, and I'm currently pregnant with my third child. I'm married, my husband's name is Tim, and he works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here, y'all. I want to be your new mom friend who will encourage you, give you life hacks to be the mom you want to be, and I promise I will never judge you. Life is crazy, so let's be friends. I would love to have you subscribe. I put up videos every week here on YouTube, and I also post a lot on TikTok and Instagram. And I've got so much fun holiday content coming up, so I really hope that you will join me. So around the front door, I'm gonna be doing something similar to what I did in my fall front porch decorating video using pool noodles from the Dollar 25 tray. Yes, you heard that right. Run on over to the Dollar Tree and get you some pool noodles because they have so many uses, y'all. First, I'll measure out the top and then we're gonna head inside to go get them all decorated and ready to go. To start out, I'm going to wrap the noodle with a Dollar Tree garland. I'm gonna wrap it really tightly around it so it gives everything like a base to grab onto and it'll give me something to secure everything to. Next, I'm taking some inexpensive Walmart garland and wrapping the whole noodle so you can't see through to the green. And then after, I'll take some lighted garland and wrap that all the way around as well, which can give it a more realistic, fluffy look. I don't really have a price for this project because I do buy a ton of holiday decor on clearance every year, and that's where most of this came from. But you can definitely do this on any budget you want. You can make it as extra as you want or as chill as you want. Walmart has so many options for garland that look nice and aren't very expensive so I'll link a couple options down below and you can check that out. After 
after all the garland is attached, I started adding on some ornaments. I wanted to make little bundles of ornaments, so I took some wire, added three to four ornaments, and then secured it together to make a little ornament cluster. After that, I used a zip tie to attach it straight to the garland. These are just plastic ornaments from Walmart, so super durable and perfect for outside. Okay, I do have a question. If you're watching this, have you decorated yet or are you just getting ideas to decorate? If you're just getting ideas, when do you start decorating? I decorate early so I can put up these videos, of course, but I'm curious what other people do, so let me know down in the comments. So if you're new to my channel or you're wondering what video is next, now is my chance to convince you to stay and subscribe. We're jingling all the way over here because you can't just jingle halfway around my house. If you like Christmas decor, you're in the right spot. I've got so much more to decorate and only a little bit of time to do it because I only have four weeks until this baby comes out. That means I have to put up a huge yard display that I always do and decorate like six trees inside my house and every room in the next four weeks. Does anybody want to come help? Because I could use it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the Christmas madness. And also, if you didn't catch that at the beginning, I'm sure you can tell. I'm pregnant. So I'll be sharing pregnancy content too in addition to the holiday decor. We're currently working on the baby's nursery and I cannot wait to share that as well as we're going to do some day in the lives and lots of fun stuff. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Once all the ornaments were attached, I also attached some ribbons and some picks. This is the part where you can get as extra as you want because you can put on a ton of ornaments, tons of ribbons, tons of picks, whatever you want. The best part of this project is that you can make it 100% customizable. And honestly, I think it does come out to be a lot fuller and bigger than a garland from most stores that you would buy. So probably cheaper in the long run. If I haven't told you already, make sure you hang out until the end because not only am I gonna show you the whole finished product, but I'm also gonna show you what it looks like at night. And Christmas lights at night just give me all the feels. So I hope that you guys will hang out to the very end to see the night finished product with all of the lights on. up I always use command hooks. You want to use good sturdy ones that hold a lot of weight so you don't have to worry about it falling off and then you're going to hang it in sections. I used two to three command hooks per section and secured it to the inside layer of the garland so I know that it won't fall off. I'll be sure to link the command hooks I use down below. So people do always ask why I don't go down to the bottom of the door with my garlands. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But for this year, I decided not to since I will be adding mini trees right below it. It didn't seem necessary to have both, you know? So the trees are gonna cover this whole part at the bottom and it'll look good.
Now we're moving on to the rest of the decorating since we got that garland done. I'm a traditional Christmas colors girl, so I do like a lot of red and green when it comes to decor. It's also always the easiest colors to find when you go clearance Christmas shopping like I do every year. That's just the way the cookie crumbles for me, y'all. We're adding these mini trees in the front from King of Christmas, a big Santa, and a brand new rug in front of the door. And at the end, I will break down where everything came from and show it all up close, so be sure to stick around. watching today you can always take a picture of your Christmas decor and tag me because I love seeing other people's decor so I'd love to see it on Instagram I can share it to my story too and we can all just take in a lot of really beautiful Christmas decorations so I would love for you to do that I spend a lot of time during the Christmas season trying to do little acts of kindness to spread Christmas cheer and really make people happy. I do this for others, for myself, because it makes me happy, and also to teach my kids the joy that comes from being one of Santa's elves. The first thing I always do is set up some snacks for the delivery drivers. Between social media stuff and Christmas presents, Amazon is dashing right down my driveway literally all November and December. I know it's the busiest time of year for them and they do a lot of long hours, so I wanted to make sure they have a little something for the road. I restock this several times during the season with drinks and snacks. I love seeing the reactions on our cameras from people getting something. I just think it's something nice to do if you're somebody who orders a lot of stuff like me. Okay, so now that I have finished decorating, I'm gonna give you guys kind of like a walkthrough of everything before I show you what it looks like at night because it's so pretty. I'm actually, I actually really like this year's front porch. It's still kind of similar to what I did last year, but definitely a little bit more over the top, which is always my goal to go a little bit bigger and a little bit better every year. So starting on this side, I have Santa and then you guys saw me do it, but it's not out right now, but I, this is the table I put the treats for the postal workers and stuff on. Um, I get a ton of deliveries, probably just like every other household. So, uh, that's where that goes. That's why that table's right there. Um, and then Santa, um, he came from Walmart last year and he's pretty, he, he's pretty moderately priced. He's only $25 full price and I got him on clearance for $12 after Christmas. So I'm super pumped about him. I think he's so cute. I just think he goes perfect out here with like the red and green theme. I'm a traditional Christmas girl. I love red and green and I just think it's like all the feels. The two little trees came from King of Christmas. I collab with them every year. I love their decorations and I love having them right here. I, I don't know. I just think that they go perfect. This bigger tree came from Christmas tree shops. It was really inexpensive as well. It's perfect for an outside tree because um, it's not anything too crazy. It wasn't very expensive. On the ground, I have the Pottery Barn dupe for the gingerbread house matte now this one is from kirkland's i got it for ten dollars on sale it is new this year so i will link it down below underneath it i have this mat here i don't love this mat um with it i think i'm going to try to find just a plain red one but i did not find it in time to make this video so i'm going to keep a lookout for that because i think it would look better with just a plain red one underneath you guys saw me make this i think it turned out really beautifully i think it's really nice behind it is the um, Philips Hue uh, light 
that I used also for Halloween. You can change the colors and everything. I'll link that down below too. I worked with Philips Hue in the fall and intend on keeping it up. The island itself does have lights on it as well and I think it's going to look really nice at night. Normally I wouldn't have the lights on everything during the day but since I was filming I did. But I think it's going to look really nice at night so I can't wait to show you it at night. I always get a lot of questions about my door hanger. I painted this door hanger um, so I cannot link it <laughs> but it looks really nice don't you think? I think it turned out good. Then over here I have my little bistro set that's super old. It's from Hobby Lobby. Probably could use a new coat of paint but we're gonna wait till spring for that. And my outdoor pillows from Walmart. This is from Kirkland's I believe a couple years ago got that on clearance and it's hiding so I'm going to show you guys it's hiding all of the plugs so I put the plugs up here on the table so they're not sitting down below and I just use this to hide it otherwise they'd be sitting down there and it would look really messy so this is my main source of power it's back there and it's what powers most of the yard for all of my Christmas decorations I got this from Walmart last year on clearance it's so pretty I can't wait to see it at night also it's a light up like LED little fire and it just stuck to the wall a little hole in it for a screw in the back and that's pretty much everything on the porch obviously there will be more to come when it comes to the yard I'm doing like a really awesome yard setup this year a gingerbread theme so make sure to stay tuned for that I can't wait to share it with you guys but this is the porch for 2022. What do you guys think? You have to tell me. You gotta let me know. Let me know what your favorite part is or, you know, what part you enjoyed the most. So that is our porch. Okay, so everything is finished and this is what it looks like during the day. I really love how it turned out, but as we all know, Christmas lights are meant to be taken in at night. So of course I have some night footage for you guys. So get ready because this is what it looks like tonight. hanging out and decorating with me this year. I'm so happy with how everything turned out and I'm so happy you were here to hang out too. If you're not subscribed, I hope you will and I can't wait to make more holiday magic with y'all this year. Oh, and if no one's told you today, you're doing a great job. I'll see y'all next time.